friends. So I've already tried to film this like three times and my kids are being holy terrors today. You can tell we've been kind of cooped up all weekend, sick and on the injured list. <laughs> it's been their energy is finally starting to come out. So anyways, I'm going to do a quick recap of week two, step into tracking. Um, I'm just going to flip you around, show you my planner, and then we will talk about the new challenge and my goals for next week. Okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my week in a glance. So as you can see... I tracked every day all of my food and all of my points. The only days I went over on Wednesdays, which was planned, and I went over on Monday, which was planned. And all together, I only used three weekly points. Um, but I had a 21-point day there. I had a 22-point day here. I had a 25-point day yesterday, and I'm probably going to end up using the rest of my weeklies for dinner tonight. I'm not really sure. Uh, my husband has my food all planned out at the restaurant. Um, my husband is taking me to his restaurant for our anniversary for supper. So I have 28. I have 25 weeklies left. Plus, I have 13, 20, 17 left for my day, um, something like that. Anyways, I have plenty to have supper, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that is my food. I tracked every bite. I definitely... Well, I'll talk about that in my goals. Um, steps, as far as steps go. I had a hit. Don't. I hit my step goal every day but yesterday. Okay. So, Monday I had 11,008, so I just barely made it. Um, Tuesday I had 12,227. And then these are the number of fit points I got um, each day. Wednesday, I actually... Sorry, guys. Okay, so Wednesday, I did... <laughs> I went about my day as normal. I had always planned for Thursday to be my day I was going to double my steps. Wednesday after supper, I came in and glanced at my uh, tracker and I was already at 17,000 steps. So I said, well, I'm already over three quarters of the way there. I might as well just keep going. I was up until like 9.30 that night jogging in place for like an hour and a half while I watched TV and I got 22,031. And that was before like I walked around and closed you know, locked all the doors and closed everything down and got ready for my night. But that's where I tracked. So I got 20 fit points that day and I hit my challenge, my extra challenge for this week, which is awesome. Um, I had 11,000 on Thursday, 11,000 on Friday. Yesterday, both of my kids were sick. I did not feel good. I fell asleep at like 6.30 on the couch and with my daughter. My son was already in bed, and I just did not get it. So one day out of two weeks, I am not heartbroken about it. I just did not feel well enough to do it. And today it is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I have almost 6,000, so I need to get step in. I'm going to try to catch up on a few videos here and walk in place for a little while. So that I'm sure to hit my fit point, my steps for today, and my water. I haven't tracked any water today, but I am already at my goal. Um, but I have well surpassed my water goal every day this week. So that is good. And I will show you 
on here. This is the um, Garmin um, page on my computer. So as you can see, I have an 11,000 step goal. Um, it shows how many I got and what my goal is. So you can see I hit my 11,000 every day except for yesterday. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I'm going to flip you around now and talk to you about this week's challenge. Okay guys, so I really feel like I did pretty well tracking in my planner. It's a it's an amazing place to track for me and I'm finding it very rewarding to kind of see everything mapped out. Um, my goals for this coming week is to hit my step goal every day. M has put out a an additional challenge for the week. She wants us to pick a number of sets of stairs that we think we go up in a day. Now we have a two-story house, all of our bedrooms, and our one and only bathroom are upstairs. So I am gonna say on an average day, I do 15, I go up the stairs 15 times. I think that's pretty fair. Um, some days obviously it would be less, some days it's more, days when I'm putting away laundry and things like that, or you know, whatever. But I'm going to say 15. So one day next week, we have to double our stair trips, just up. We aren't counting down as a second set. So I will have to go up the stairs 30 times and if I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to have to talk to Em and see if she can walk me through it. I'm probably not going to do, maybe I'll try to do like 10 ups throughout the day, like three different times during the day. And what I will do then is try to set up a time-lapsed camera on my phone to catch me either at the bottom or at the top 10 times and then I'll just do three of those. Um, if that doesn't work, I do not have a Fitbit and my tracker does not track steps, stairs. So what I will have to do is just keep a paper at the top of the stairs and put a check mark every single time I go up and down up the stairs and I will have to show you that. So I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do because I can't just leave my phone set up all day in the corner. I do a lot on my phone so um, I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to track that but I'm going to do it so 30 sets of stairs one day next week is our new challenge and I have kind of slid backwards not necessarily I don't think it's sliding to maybe eat meat a couple of times or eggs or whatever but I ate dairy quite a few times this week not in big quantities um more like things that have dairy in them i didn't like sit down and eat ice cream or yogurt or anything like that but um yesterday i had a cup of noodles it was the only thing i wanted because i did not feel good and that had milk products in it um i had some popcorn today that was a white cheddar popcorn um, so I'm just kind of not feeling well has really put a fuzz on my really caring. I'm trying to eat within my points, but that's been as much as my brain can function these last couple days. Both my kids have had high fevers. They're not feeling good. I'm not feeling good. So it's just been a struggle this week and yesterday I think I drank three cans of diet ginger ale. I got all my waters in, but as intermediates, I drank a lot of soda. I'm feeling it today. I am bloated. I am also today might be the day I actually lose my mind. Ugh. Okay, so I was gonna say 
I've just kind of let myself slide because I haven't felt good and that's not an excuse and I don't like that I let myself slide but this is life and it happens. I am a busy mom. I have two very needy children. They're small. When they don't feel good all they want is to lay on top of me and cuddle which is wonderful but when I'm not feeling good either that part of my brain the rational part just shuts down and I know in my heart I could have done a lot worse so weigh in tomorrow whatever that scale reads I am going to take it with a grain of salt um, I was gonna say I am also fighting with my monthly friend this week so on top of not feeling good in one way now I'm not feeling good in another way so it's just been a rotten week Tomorrow, I went out today and bought stuff to make my husband's supper tomorrow. I mean, tonight, um, I bought salmon and I was going to make um, one of our favorite salmon dishes for supper. Well, then he called me and asked me if I would go up to the restaurant with him and I'm not going to turn him down. Um, it's very few and far between that he actually gets to plan something and do something nice for me. So we're going to go out for dinner. Tomorrow night we are going to eat the salmon because I paid for it. I don't want it to go bad. Um, as of tomorrow morning, because I'm not quite sure what my husband has planned for dinner. As of tomorrow morning, 100% no dairy. And after dinner tomorrow night, I am going to try. I'm challenging myself and I'm hoping that Amber will do it with me because she's obviously stuck out this... Um, stuck out this vegan challenge. I would like to do a 30 day vegan challenge. So I'm going to see if she will do it with me just, I know she will be doing it, but I'm going to ask her to do it with me. So I think we're going to go back to using the hashtag um, WW vegan challenge. I want to do a whole 30 days. I'm hoping to get to my goal of 150 and get all of the toxins, the animal products, the dairy, the everything that is in my body out. I am hoping it is going to make me healthier. Sick wise, I always have a hard time when I when it switches seasons, when it's hot and cold in the same day, I always get sick and it forces me to be sick all winter long. So I'm hoping I can get healthy enough so I can go get my flu shot so that I can be well and healthy and active all winter long. So I'm going to talk to her about that and that is my plan. Starting Tuesday morning, bright and early, first thing, 30 day vegan challenge. And I wish it was closer to the first because I would just start on the first but that's okay um, so that is my plan those are my plans for this coming week and so far so good this step into tracking has really gotten me back into the habit of tracking I am enjoying the little extra challenges I think they are fun it is so great to see everybody's results everybody pushing so so hard people who generally get just a couple of thousand steps, which I know when you're home all the time and or if you have an office job or whatever, to get those extra steps is a really big deal. So be proud of yourself. I am so proud of everybody for all of the hard work they are doing. So that's it this week, guys. I will see you next week for Step Into Tracking Recap Week 3. Bye, guys.